and I would taste your Friends, welcome back to Mama's East Texas Kitchen. Today we are making jerk chicken in the Instapot. Then we're going to grill it on the grill after we make a beautiful sauce. I hope you will give this video a thumbs up, share, like, all that fun stuff. Let's get started on this video. Okay. So to make jerk chicken in your Instapot, I've got my Instapot heating up a little bit here with some avocado oil in the bottom. And then I'm just going, some of this extra, I want to leave the skin on it, but we don't need all this extra. So I'm going to trim these up real quick. Take off the extra fat or extra skin. I've got five chicken thighs here. Um, you could, that one's okay. You could use whatever piece of meat you wanted to use. Um, I and my family prefer the chicken thighs. It's just got, to me, it got better flavor. So, all right. Next thing you're going to need is jerk seasoning. Now, I picked this up at my local HEB already made up. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little salt and pepper on these. Okay, now we're going to put, and we'll do both sides, we're going to put the jerk seasoning, and I would taste your, <coughs> alright, so we're going to put some of this jerk seasoning, it is potent, it. uh, <laughs> Don't directly taste it. It won't. It will. And we're going to sprinkle some on this. So depending on how spicy you like stuff, uh, I would say proceed with caution. All right. We're going to turn them over and season the other side. Salt. <clears throat> Salt, pepper, and a tiny bit more of this jerk seasoning. All right. <clears throat> now, okay, so I've got some tongs here, and we are going to put this in our Instant Pot skin down. And you're not trying to cook it per se, you're just getting your your outside skin crispy. Okay. Probably two or three minutes. It doesn't take long. Do this side, and then I'm going to make a little bit of a, a barbecue sauce uh, to put on it for when they come out of this pot. We're going to put that on top of it, and we're going to boil it for just a minute to crisp up the skin. Because that's the whole thing with jerk chicken, right? Is 
normally it's cooked on the grill. And you totally, if you got a grill, could totally do this. I could do it on my, uh, my indoor grill, and I may do that. We'll see when we get there. Pour it up. Okay, so here's the next thing you want to do. Take you about a cup, cup and a half of chicken stock. I'm not sure how much I have left in the steel, so I'm going to measure it out real quick. So we're going to scrape the bottom a little bit, get all the good flavor off because this chicken stock will eventually become our sauce. So, okay. Now I'm going to use a trivet just because it'll be easier to get it in and out of. So, set that down. <coughs> I like this one because it's got the handle on it. It makes it really easy to pull out. We're going to put our chicken back in. Cook it um, for 15 minutes. That's all it takes to, to make this. And then when we come back and take our chicken out, we'll grill it up. I'll show you how to make the sauce. You're going to love it. All right, we'll see you back here in just a minute. Okay, so I've depressurized my Instapot. I'm going to take the lid off. Got a pot rack. I'm going to be doing a full product review on these um, pot rags and some other stuff Saturday on my live show. Be there at 9.30 because I think you're going to love it. So be sure and check that out in the morning. Okay, so we're going to pull our chicken out. That's what I love about these handles. I can just lift the whole thing, set it over here. Now, let's make a sauce. At this point, if you want to just keep it strictly paleo, low carb, whatnot, you could omit this or uh, rearrange your flavors a little bit what you're putting in here i'm not making this completely paleo the chicken itself absolutely the sauce i'm trying to keep it healthier with some healthier alternatives but it's not technically paleo or whole 30. so this is what you're going to need to do hit cancel hit your saute on medium and this is what you're going to add first of all i'm using some coconut sugar About two tablespoons. Okay. I'm also putting in some Creole mustard, a little bit of onion powder, a splash of soy sauce. I am using the less sodium soy sauce. Splash, a dash of maple syrup, probably a tablespoonful. Okay. And then some ketchup. The acidity with the vinegar and the ketchup is just going to take it over the top. And remember, you still have all your uh, jerk seasonings in this broth. So we're going to give this a whisk. And you're basically going to cook this down and let it thicken up. Okay, I am adding a little bit of cornstarch and water just to help the process out a little bit, but you can totally omit this step and just wait on it. But for time's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and thicken it up. I'm gonna give it a taste to see if we need it to add anything. Nope, okay, that tastes So we're gonna take our chicken out, put it down on our hot grill.
But don't worry, this, the rest of the sauce ain't going to waste. So hang tight for a minute. This is not going to take long to grill up. We are just trying to put some grill marks and crisp up this skin just a little. Chicken. Okay, we are ready to plate. I have different rice here. I've got some just chicken flavored rice and I got some jasmine. We're gonna go with the jasmine for our plate. Take a chicken thigh. Isn't that gorgeous? And then I'm going to take some of our wonderful sauce. Just like that. Okay, my friends. There you go. Jerk chicken. A little leaner uh, version of it. I hope you will give this a try. Hey, if you like this video, check out this cabbage and sausage video that we made in the Instapot. And we'll see you on the next video.